Here's the latest design for my clock face. It's number seven. Well, for the number seven on this clock face, I decided I was going to draw an axe because it kind of comes naturally with a number seven shape. And so this wants to come vertically down there, but then we want to curve it around. Again, this is coming vertically and that will curve around. And I am slightly accentuating the axe handle <laughs> the curve here. I think it would normally come to about there. Um, so I'm, I'm accentuating it for, for the um, for the effect of it looking like a number seven. And here we want to bring that there. This wants to be sharp edges. And that will come to there. Bring this all the way down, curl it around slightly and slightly curling around the edges there. And here we want to do, this is kind of where the paintwork comes to, and this is where the, the blade is sharpened. And I think I'm going to put a little kind of manufacturer's mark in there as well. The famous Acme brand, <laughs> which you'll see on all those Roadrunner movies. And I'm going to put some uh, kind of wood effect in here, so that will come up there and down there, like that. <coughs> then when you are sure that the ink is dry, you can erase those pencil lines. And I'm going to put some some bit of hatching there to give a kind of a sharp edged steel effect and then just some little bit there to show that that's still metal along here i am going to draw lines i'm going to stop at the top there i'm not going to go quite to the edge and i think here you need to be quite controlled So I'm, I'm just not quite taking it right up to the top edge there, which will leave a little kind of highlight, of reflected light across the top of the axe. And I forgot there. <laughs> Getting a bit too keen, so I'll carry on here, leaving a little bit of reflection on the, the side edge. A little bit of highlight like that. And in fact, I'm going to add a little bit more, just these kind of flicks up between the centres of those the hatching. I'm not going to cross hatch it because I think that will make it look messy. So it's just a kind of extra hatching just to make it darker on this edge. And then we're going to want some bit of hatching along this edge as well to give it a bit of rounded molding 3D-ness. And then at the top I think that we can have some um, cross hatching so we can cross over there and that's going to come along like that and I'm looking at the camera and I think I'm going to have just a little bit more so just at a slight angle to that but this is going to be flipped a bit deeper into the axe so that we are actually cross hatching cross hatching because I'm going across the previous hatch if you follow my meaning so that means it's cross hatching rather than kind of going with the grain of the previous act hatch <laughs> there we go how <laughs> to draw an axe in the shape of a seven well i hope you enjoyed that and if you did uh, why not go and learn how to draw cartoon people or have a go at the mystery drawing <laughs> either way make sure you click that logo and subscribe on youtube for lots more drawing videos and why not go and join my art school on patreon all my courses they start from only three dollars a month and there's assignments and all sorts of stuff like that uh, check it out and in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.